Mm. Oh, everyone, this is going down there. Uh, just check the why. <clears throat> from somewhere he took something from me didn't you you little thief thief where's my knitting needle uh did you stab all your little friends with it what knitting needle are you the dead nurse i saw back in the oswald like that's on do i look dead to you Beast. Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. <clears throat> but Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay. Seven. <clears throat> okay, so I can still come back up here. There's nothing out of keyhole. maybe days ah uh, I've been waiting for a week now how long has everyone been waiting mm -hmm. I've been waiting for like a month but I have number two so it must be my turn very soon <coughs> I have been waiting for three and a half weeks totally hopeless Ahem. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why don't... But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. I can't, my uh, eye is blinded, red eye, red, green, blue, I have this broken horn, you see, I can't be a doctor, I must be a patient, neither can I, I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I, I'm here. Um, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain, in, pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, enough, it's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us, you're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand at all. <clears throat> um, that's true, but it 
would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Oh. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait. Because talking might make the wait go faster. Alright, thank you for nothing. <coughs> uh, waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boring. Wait. I think my horn won't grow, grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two, it's almost my turn. My book, uh, I has broken the big eye told me that because she sees it all. <clears throat> Be possible to exchange our tickets. Uh, number seven. No, I would need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. <coughs> so I think I need to go. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow. But is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle. We'll do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought. Everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is, is totally crazy. Talking to her was, was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and I and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest com comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Athesta and be happy. Mm. Lovely pain. So profound. <coughs> the bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Okay. Um. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. 
he drink this, young fool, much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Haha. <laughs> How lovely, let's see. Tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. <clears throat> Jew, it's not your turn yet. We're patient number two. We are going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I must... No. Just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're... You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. <clears throat> but why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah. Uh, Alright, I'll go and make the call then. Ah. <coughs> uh. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm -hmm. It's Rainbow. Uh -huh. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye, yes, bye. Patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Rainbow is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are a Rima, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Rima, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to... Dr. Dion, I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from them. I feed 
from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true, not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You were assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. <coughs> can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. suffer and die before becoming a star. <coughs> for you. Are you ready? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow? Meow? Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to our Thursday, my darling. Elantris can help us. I promise you, nothing will te tear us apart again. We're gonna help. Okay, I'll be back, right back. I must help Dr. Dion, alright. He seems to be in trouble. <coughs> You all right, sir? So wake up, please, Dr. Dion. Wake up. Are you alive, sir? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? It's me, friend. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Friend Bo, sir. From the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Friend, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have, I, what have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
but what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. I told you she, she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound like... You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald from Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. That same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rima did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can do so, wait, can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife out the wall. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rima all the, the time. But why does he hunt me? <coughs> Rima is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. <coughs> and pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We are family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. <coughs> I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take care, take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that you must allow him to try a little experiment on you, and then everything will be fine, of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No, no kitty. Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. He was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. <coughs> Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Am I 
goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she is still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. <coughs> Blaine, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dion. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, Nothing can stop me. Good friend, everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I'm it with the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobo, ectopot. Lunches, Mono Pass, Gerska, Itward. I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. <coughs> Little friend must be cured. Do you think we can use the, the same body? Yes, yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, oh Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the children. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. <coughs> Edward Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Gwen, we must go now. Go. Alright. Dr. Dean, look. This is Edward and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were, we will see. Can you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. <clears throat> we can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Ah, thank you, Palantris. <coughs> yeah, let's send Dr. Dion home. <coughs> I said the end or in them back Mars Sudan Lutz who then slow Ecto Goodbye Dr. Dean Let's go now friend There's so much you must see in one 
that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I don't know many things, but one thing I do know that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. <coughs> So the I think I had to playing it the second time. I think I know the ending now. had to basically you had to basically uh, leave but uh if I did play this on the on my tablet but it was um a five at four five at episodic um, chapters nothing it was to do with the all the chapters this was just all all in one but it was a it's a good um, a pretty quick adventure game. So that was Rainbow, so that's pretty much done. Might uh might go back on to Persona 5 or something else. Maybe find another game for the next stream. But uh yeah, thanks for thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>